Hello guys and welcome back to the MME Gaming Channel. Thank you very much for joining us for episode number two of our Pokemon Randomizer Nuzlocke. So a quick recap of where we are from episode number one. We have picked up our first Pokemon, our starter Pokemon, and it is baby MME, our Togepi. Uh, knows Growl, Charm, and Metronome, so not the best attacks in the world. So right, this episode is our aim is to try and catch a first Pokemon in order so we can start leveling up our Togepi as we found out last time it is level 33 where we'll wear, learn ancient power uh, even if we do manage to get it to evolve into a Togetic but our aim today is to catch a second Pokemon and complete the battle against our friend Hou who we met in the last episode so into the grass here on route number one to get our first pokemon and it will be a primplup oh excellent so the water uh a water type to start off a big tanky boy obviously uh when he evolves into empoleon he has relic copper which could be good for a bit of money later down the line um we only have metronome here to actually try and weaken him uh, laser focus, okay, not too bad. Concentrate, not really doesn't help too much. Uh, he's he has bubble, which is good. Um, he already has a water type move. He's only level three. Um, so we try and weaken him just a little bit. Uh, parting shot, okay, it's not too bad. We'll damage him a little bit. Uh, oh, sorry, it only makes his attack and special attack fail. It's gonna use bubble. We're not gonna do as too much now that we've reduced his attack. Um. We, yeah, we'll go for another metronome. Uh, if we don't get damage off on him very soon, we'll have to probably just throw a Pokeball at him. He's going to go for Bubble again. It's a crit as well. Uh, we don't obviously have a whole load of health, so I think we're just going to throw Pokeballs at him. Um... I think the best thing to do is just throw Pokeballs at him. Um, we did pick up a level ball, so um, we could use that to catch Pokemon that are lower level than we are. And got him! Okay, got him on the first ball with no damage. Nice. So we're bringing in a Primplup into our party. Our first Pokemon of this randomizer caught on route number one. Um, Primplup, obviously, rules of Nuzlocke. We have to give this a name. And I think I know uh, what name I want to give this one. Um, named after one of our, our really close friends. You see him in a lot of our Overwatch videos. Um, our main tank there. So we're going to call our Primplup for assuming when he gets into Empoleon, we're going to call him Epe. Um, and big shout out to. Epe underscore OW link in the description to his channel if you want to go over there and give him a follow or subscribe even give him a subscribe it's really worth it uh, you'll enjoy it just try not to have epilepsy when you go over there uh, so we we'll go back here we'll try and heal up uh, butter Pokemon even though Primple took actually no damage in that fight uh, but we'll go back to our mom um, heal up here and then we'll move on towards Ilky Town. Uh, and hopefully when we get up there then we can... Uh, get the fight off against uh, our friend How. And once that's done then we should get our Z-Ring. Uh, the Sparkling Stone that we found yesterday. So we're going to slide through. Uh, we will try and level up. Uh, both Primplup and uh, Baby MME. Oh, Togo Demaru. Okay, nice. Okay. Um, obviously, all these battles now, we cannot catch any more Pokemon on this route, on route number one, as we've already caught our Primplup. Um, rules are in the description and a link to the full rules. Uh, what we are adding also to this, um, I thought it was a bit of fun, uh, seen as. Um, Togepi only knows Metronome up until level 33, uh, is that we can only add TMs to one Pokemon after we do each island challenge. So, um, just to kind of like make it a little bit more fun, um, 
a little bit more difficult at the same time. So TMs will be at those stages. Uh, Toga de Mar okay, Toga de Mar is an electric type, and that didn't do too much to my Primplup. So Primplup is a water type. Okay, he's using tackle, which is fine. Um, Primplup knows Metal Claw, which is really, really good. Um, which is going to help, like, level him up really, really quickly. Such a strong move to have at this early point. Um, and that's Togan Amaru gone. It was interesting that um, the electric type move there didn't really do too much on him. But we'll move on. That's a level up for both Epe and Baby MME. As we move along, um, here we're going to go through the rest of uh, route number one. Pick up what we can. Um, I guess you have to go walk through the grass. So I think I'll heal up Primplup as well, just to be on the safe side. Obviously, if a Pokemon blacks out, uh, then uh, we lose that Pokemon. A Pokemon is considered dead um, if we do. So I want to have a look at this. See, his Relic Copper on him, as we, we seen earlier on. Um, but what is this now is the problem with him. I want to try and move him to uh, slot number one. Because um, he has the attacking moves um, that we want, obviously. Uh, so you're going to pick up these items. Another battle. Who are we going to face off against? Don't forget all of these. Oh, we could have got a scissor, actually. Alright. Not too bad. Not too bad. And he's using bullet punch. That's okay. A pet is a tanky boy. He's not going to do too much damage. Metal Claw is not going to do too much damage either. Uh, water Gun is a bug type, so... Water Gun's not going to do too much. But is he, Oh, he's Bug and Steel, isn't he? Scizor? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, this form, yeah, like... His Scyther is a bug type, so... Yeah, that's good. Okay, Water, water Gun's the way to go here. That's not going to do much. Another bubble. Another two bubbles and we should be out this way as well. Bullet punch is not going to do anything. And water gun should kill. And it does kill. Okay, good. So extra levels up anyway, which is, is always good to see. Extra experience, anyway, which is good. Okay, we'll pick up this item on the way. A potion? Hmm. Okay. Okay, potion. That's interesting. So... We'll heal up Primplup, anyway, using the potion we just found, but... Uh, maybe the items aren't randomized. The drop down items aren't randomized. Um, so we might have to just reset that. Um, those random uh, drops. Uh, before the next game. Um, yeah because. We should be finding something different here. Than just other than. Uh, potions and paralyzed heals. And stuff like that. But uh, we're going to skip going over for that one. We're going to go and try and get. Um the into the ilky town back where we were for the start of at the end of episode one uh this is where we're going to have the festival battle against how uh and then hopefully get our sparkling stone back from the island kahuna so each island has its own guardian our festival is held to the express to Okay, I did not give myself enough time there to be able to read through all that, but uh, at the end of the day, it's we're trying to pray, have a battle to praise uh, Topu Koku, which is the Island Guardian, and it's going to be me against Hau, um and her Poplio, but obviously it's not a Poplio because she's going to have uh, 
Random set of Pokemon. And then obviously Lily and Kikui are right on time. We battle under the name of Tapu Koko. Yes, of course we do. Of course we do. And obviously I'm going to win. Um, because if I don't, I'm resetting in game number one. Which we don't want to do that. Um, we're going to heal our Pokemon, even though Brod already healed. Because um, I wasn't sure if they were actually going to do this. Um, did I say no? Okay, I didn't mean to say no there. Um, but we'll just save up now. Before we go into it. Not that uh, the save matters. Uh, but just on the off chance. My battery's about to die in the month. Adds up, so. uh, just in case. If um, anything does happen. During this battle. Uh, where the computer goes off. Or something like that. That we can just. Um, restart the battle. But we're not using this as a. Um, a, a way of getting back out. Or keeping the series alive. Um, and we'll only be. From now on we'll be. Uh, saving at the start and at the end of videos um, so videos from uh, videos from now will be uh, like 30 minutes or so uh, recorded in one sitting um, we'll do the voiceover then afterwards later on um, and one sitting of the video just one whole thing whatever we get to do in that 30 minute timer um, we've no speed up or anything like that on it, so um, we might have to have a look at maybe like you know clipping bits together. But I'd I'd prefer just to do one whole thing or one whole clip um, in one go, just so that um, there's continuity and people can see exactly what happened. So we might try and do like an island challenge or catch a few Pokemon each each episode. Uh, but I might leave the grinding bits where I just level up Pokemon or don't really do too much to be done separately. Um, still recorded in case something does happen that we can just put those um, things into the, the stream. Um, or into the, the chats every now and again. So, um, Okay, so you're going to bring out Tranquil first. Uh, it's going to use Charm. It's going to harshly lower my attack. Uh, so I'm just going to spam Metal Claws because uh, I think that's my best move here. Um, didn't do too much damage. I'm going to try Water Gun. Um, I have a sinking suspicion I know what the problem is with the typing. Um, I think the typings might have got randomized as well. So I don't know what type this Tranquil is. Um, because Metal Claw should do a little bit more damage than this, but uh, see Thunder Shock. Now that should have like done half my health there. Uh, so there is a problem with the typings. Uh, we'll try and fix that for the next episode so that typings are uh, back and normal. If we can re-randomize it without losing our save files, because um, I would prefer not to have to restart um, after episode number one and two. Um, but he's going to keep going for Charm, uh, so this fight's going to drag out a little bit. Um, not much we can do about it. It's just one of those things, if he uses attacks like that. It's, it's usually good, you don't take damage, but you're not doing as much damage. I would have probably preferred if this was a, like a Leer or something like that. Um, as we've already said, Thundershock's not going to do too much. Uh, where it should have, like, should do a whole load of damage um, and if I had known he had Thunder Shock when he came out I probably would have switched over to Baby MME first but since it's not doing any damage um, we're just going to keep going uh, Water Guns is our best option at the minute uh, or sorry Bubble still not very effective but he's not doing any damage to me so I don't really have to be worried about how long this fight um, how long this fight takes actually to complete. We're not going to do too much after this um, particular battle anyway. So this is going to be the majority of the episode. It's just this battle here. Uh, we might try and go and get the Rotom decks. Depending on how long that might take. Um, and catch our second Pokemon. 
um, to add to the team and then we'll finish it probably there after we get the Rotom decks. Um, but this battle obviously taken a lot longer than uh, we would like. We're basically same level, obviously both level 6s, so uh, but we're just uh, poking each other at the minute. Um, but I have the advantage, so that will take him down. Okay, level up, level 7. Not too bad. Okay, she's going to send out Politoed. Um, I don't think... I don't think it's a point in switching into... Um, Big MMA really. Is there a metronome? Like, there is a chance using metronome. This is the problem with metronome and it being the only attack and move uh, that Baby MME has is that it could use something like self destruct or explosion. And if it did use that, then obviously I would lose Baby MME. So we have to be very careful with metronome using it as choice specs. So that's not really going to harm me too much. Um. I think we're going to charm first, reduces the attack as much as possible, so it can't do as much damage. Um, that's doing 8 damage at the minute, and um, it's outspeeding me too. So we're just going to charm twice to reduce its attack as much as possible. Okay, we're down to 4 damage now, which isn't too bad. One more charm should bring him down to like doing 2 damage. I think we'll heal up. Yeah, I think heal up uh, our baby MME, and then we're just gonna metronome. Yeah, now just metronome. Um, I think I went for another charm. Uh, yeah. Okay, three charms, that should be his full attack, his attack down as low as possible. So, now a metronome. What's Pound doing? Two damage? Two damage, not bother. No problem whatsoever. So just don't use self-destruct. Shadow Punch doesn't affect them, which is wrong because Shadow Punch should affect Politoed. Um, so definitely a problem with the typing here. Um, so... Hopefully, let's see, using Bullet Seed, that's doing nothing. Okay, I'm worth switching out here now. Um, I don't know. Okay, let's go Metronome again. Um, need to try and get a super effective move. He's not doing much now that we've lowered his attack so far down. Um, I don't. Shadow Force, okay, vanished. Alright, so I'll hit him next turn. Oh, yes, it doesn't affect him, yeah, obviously. I uh, forgot about that bit, that Shadow Punch didn't affect him, so obviously Shadow Force is not going to affect him. Um, we're going to have to heal up now again. I think I might have to switch out to um, Primple up here. I I think we could be here forever. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, so I don't think Metronome's going to do much unless it happens to figure out a, like a super effective move. We may just have to switch back out to Primplup, but did I weaken Primplup too much? Like, he's not doing anything, so I don't have to be worried about uh, Togepi dying here, or maybe I'm going to be dying here. Um, Retaliate's not going to do much. Like, we're not even near half his health yet. Uh, I think we just keep metronoming. Uh, use all our metronomes. As long as he doesn't use... Fairy Wind, okay, it's not too bad, super effective, okay, so definitely the typings have been messed up somewhere, 
uh, during the randomizer. Yeah, I don't know. I'm contemplating where we should switch out uh, into our primplup. And like, see, I'm not gonna like sack off um, baby MME, but we need to do something here. Um, might as well just stay in and hope for the best like just try and weaken them a little bit bullet seed again okay second time using bullet seed uh i don't know but, like he's not doing any damage so like i'm not really overly worried about him uh we have to come, have to use a potion, have to heal them. Um, can't risk losing baby MME, especially this early in the run. Um, it'd be, I think it'd be different if this was like the last fight in the run. Um, I wouldn't probably be as worried about losing MME, but I don't know, we would obviously like to keep them for as long as possible. We got paralysis on them. Uh, that's obviously might help us if we get a little bit um, a little bit of luck with RNG RNG but obviously we want to try and be as um, luckful as possible and not to get like explosion uh, if we can avoid it um, I don't know why I use charm there uh, just to check to see if um, he had any like if I could lower his uh, attack any lower but obviously it's not going to go lower after three charms early on so we're going to swap out now into primp up um, probably should have done this about 10 minutes ago uh, when the polytoad first came out just healed him up uh, we didn't even actually heal him up but uh, polytoad's not going to do too much to him um, metal claw if metal claw kills this now in one shot We've just wasted 15 minutes. Okay, it's not. It wouldn't one kill, but it would. It was doing a lot more than uh, Metronome was was possibly doing. Um, so we we beat him. Polytoad came or Primplup came in and beat Polytoad easy. Um, so we get a pet up to level nine. Uh, Baby MME might gain a level as well. Actually, we get a pet up to level ten. Nice. Okay, two levels in the one fight. That's good. Baby MME got a level as well up to level 7 and level 8 which is perfect that's exactly what we want to see because obviously we have to get um mme up to level 33 before it will learn an attacking move um and that attacking move is ancient power so uh we've won the the first um battle trial we're gonna get our sparkling stone turned into a z ring on our wrist uh, which is great great news uh, we've no z crystals at the minute obviously we get them from doing the uh island challenges um, so we'll do our island challenges to get more z crystals um, i think the first one we will get is normalium z um, Four islands. You will travel to each of four islands in the Alola region. The island challenges are aiming to the strongest challenger, the island challenge champion. Woo! Um, yeah, obviously we're going to um, enjoy those. Uh, so I think for the next episode, what we will try and do is try and fix the randomizer on typing. Um because I think at the minute the typings are all over the place. I don't think our Primplup is a water type uh, because he was uh, not very effective against electric type. So that would probably make him an electric type. Um, um, so I think we should, uh, I think we have to go home first, uh, but I think it just teleports us to the house. Yeah, it does. Cool. So we obviously get to show mom our our crystal. Chat 
she was obviously at the match, so she's she, she seen what we got. Um, good night. What I've already noticed is that every time we say good night, we always start the next day, even though it's dark outside and the light is on. We always start on the um, on the porch for some reason. Like, is that where she wakes up and then goes, right, MME, out onto the porch so we can yawn? Or is that where she sleeps? I don't know. Uh, obviously, uh, so uh, I think Lily wants to bring us to the professor house. Uh, Professor Kikui's house, so we can um, get our Rotam for our Rotam desks. So our Pokedex that is now alive. Um, so introduce Lily to our mom. Ooh. Uh, we got a little bit of pocket money. That's always good. Nice to know. I think she gives you about thirty thousand dollars. Like I would love that as pocket money, huh? Okay, so we're going down here, um, down to Professor Kikui's house. Uh, obviously, we've a bit, a bit of dialogue to do, probably a few battles. Getting close to the end timer. Um, ideally, don't want this to go over uh, too long. But um, if we have to go over a few episodes, going over 30 minutes or so, I, I really do appreciate anyone who's watched through all of this. Um, so far who helped with the first episode being out there um i'm really enjoying myself uh doing these um doing these videos uh, i think they're really really fun um really enjoying playing the game so straight down to kikui's house um nothing really happened in the in um on the way down um, so we're down here now, Professor Kikui's house. Um, Lily telling us all about how he's always messy and there's always trouble. Into one, I think we're going to get our Rotam decks from Professor Kikui. Which I think is like the coolest addition they made to these games. Is the road out desks and me like and a live Pokedex um sounds something so uh mental but So give him our Pokedex Really? There's a Pokemon called a Rotan? Oh wow, he's made of electricity. Look at that, a Rotamdex. Nice. Get in that Pokedex, you. Come on. Yay, I got a Rotamdex. Nice. Straight into the backpack. Boom. And you're just going to annoy me talking all the time, aren't you? Okay, so we have our map is now in the bottom corner. Uh, what I will try to do is that when I am using that bottom corner to show uh, Pokemon and stuff like that, I will try and switch screens so that the bottom screen is the big screen and obviously the big screen then is the small screen. Um, so we will try and do that as much as possible so you can see that bottom screen more often. How is coming to meet us? Um, so we're so we're gonna leave it there for today. Um, I think this is the a good breaking up point. We just got our Rotam decks, so we've picked up our first Pokemon of this Pokemon randomizer Nuzlocke, and that Pokemon is a Primplup, um, and we called him a Pear. Uh, and obviously we've leveled up baby MME as well, but still only knows 
um, metronome so we have to be very very careful with them but thank you very much guys for joining us for episode number two we will have episode number three up very very shortly when we try and pass the trainer school and then we'll be into uh, outside the tutorial and into the actual games but thank you very very much guys if you haven't already hit that subscribe button um, on the channel thank you very much make sure you check out a pez channel in the description um obviously our print up being named after him um but i think what we'll do is we will cut the, the stream here just as this uh chat decides and if you like this um content and you want to see more of it hit that like button uh really really do appreciate every single one of the people who follow me or subscribe to me check out my other social medias twitter um for when these videos will be uploaded but we're gonna leave that here for this one hit that subscribe button and we'll see you again in the next pokemon series video